what's going on guys welcome back to another episode of city skylines my name is sports monkey welcome back to fox valley today we are here in the city skyline sunset harbor dlc and here is our amusement park from last time it looks pretty awesome i did go into some major detailing we added some trees some landmarks and some other things so like our eye the london eye and we added a few other stone stones and some other detailing so as you can tell it looks pretty great now i wanted for today i wanted to build a zoo so uh one of the main things a zoo has is before i get into building the zoo which will be i'll start in 30 seconds i just have to let you guys know this is pretty shitty in order to add water in the count xbox or ps4 console gaming i literally had to dump the waste of the sims into this little river which was already there to fill it in so this is going to be a shitty situation anyways don't i don't mean to swear in these things but i try to hide it with the rocks in the way and stuff like that but um that was the only way i can build water there is a sea life exhibit that is gonna swim in this wonderful water so if you have any ideas on how to clean that water please let me know in the comment section below please remember to like subscribe and comment also you guys have been fantastic so remember hit that like button that does help with the youtube analytics so please hit that like button and please comment that also helps with the youtube analytics and my videos so let's start by building a zoo so first of all let's get off of this view and go back to our city and this is our normal angle that we are able to build the city now the third first thing we need to do is we need to go to park life and we need to paint the district so let's kind of widen this out and we're going to spread the zoo out pretty big um the zoo in general takes up a lot of space just to give you let you guys know and so don't freak out when i'm building such a big I'm painting such a big district so that is perfect now the the first thing we want to do is we want to build a, an amusement park main gate just kidding we're building a zoo let's remember building a zoo not an amusement park mr sports monkey all right let's build the main gate and eventually we will want a side gate but we only have one little exit to our city from so i did add this little we i did expand the city center to over across the railway and the one issue is is we only have one way in and one way out road wise i do need to change that but um that will change but now now that we have that in place i'm going to add some fencing now um i am going to cut and paste so you guys don't have to see all this but this is how I'm going to build a fence around the entire thing. So you guys, so don't waste your time. Um, I'm going to cut right to it. So I just have to remember I'm at about the four minute mark. So I'll be back after this is all done. And there we go. I kept it very simple. And it only took me like 30 seconds. But I just literally put it in. I just put it basically a giant square around now you cannot go on the water unfortunately so don't worry about that but i did kind of square it out so now let's build some paths so what i want to do is build start out with the path going this way i do want to go around the lake so that is i'm going to hold down the y button and kind of curve it so hit a and then curve it around now I do want to avoid hitting those rocks, so let me hit B, and let's go over here. And we will end it right there. So that is kind of what, we're, what we have right now. Now, I do kind of want to make kind of like a roundabout, if that makes sense, over here. So what I'm going to actually do is, I know I just created this, so spare me the drama. I understand. I just did it. And let's go to B and hold down this and go to B. So I'm going to build like a little roundabout and I'll show you exactly why I thought about this. So 320. 
we'll get there 320. Perfect. Now what I want to do with that is I do want, there are plazas that we can add in the middle of this. So what I want to do is kind of, I want to kind of make a square. There's that. There's that. And there's that. Perfect. So there are plazas that I do want to start off and kind of put them over here. I think that would be a really nice way to start building this zoo. And, wow. And, you know, that doesn't look too bad. Now, obviously, you know, in an ideal world, we could... We could actually make this a, an actual circle. But, you know what? I kind of like it. It's not perfect. You know, you don't go to very many parks and stuff and see perfect circles. At least I live in Buffalo, New York, and we definitely do not see perfect... You do not see perfect, you know, circuit circles in the middle of a park or a zoo of any sort. So I'm going to keep that for right now. And so we are going to add a zoo cafeteria over here. And then I do want to keep kind of all the buildings together. So kind of make it like a little plaza. Now I did add the zoo cafeteria. So obviously that's food, snacks, refreshments. Then I did add a souvenir stall. That is just small souvenirs, nothing crazy. Then the next thing is a restroom. Now I do want to add kind of like a picnic area. I think I'm going to put this over here. So where is our, I know those are all of our exhibits and we have not gone to an exhibit yet, but we're going to add a couple of these little concrete pads and add a few more. Oh, I do need to get rid of that tree and get rid of that tree. Okay, so the tree's kind of interfered with that, but that's all right. All right, so add that. Now, I am going to go into the... This is from the city park, and I'm going to add kind of like a little... A little food park. And we're adding different types of food venues, so... The first one I just added was the ice cream van. This one it was the food stall. And then I'm going to add another food stall. So this is going to be like a little place where you can get lots of food and hang out. And, you know, you don't have to see all the exhibits and stuff like that. So I am going to go back and I don't know if they... Oh, that's amusement park. But I don't know if they have... Do they have benches? Oh, yes, they do. So I am going to add a couple benches over here. Or picnic tables, wherever you want to call them. And so this is just me adding details to this lovely park. And I think I am going to add a balloon stall from our city park, which is a great idea. Where is that? Wasn't there a balloon? No, I guess I guess. So. Oh, that's in the amusement park area. I'm sorry. There's a balloon stall. In the amusement park area so I am sorry for mistaking that and we'll put that right over there so that's that's a kind of a cool little hangout area and I am actually gonna build one more over here I believe that is because most of the park is gonna head that way anyways so let's add one more and again I hope you guys are liking that I am adding details to the park and it's not just the park and if you guys like the extra details please let me know in the comment section below you know I know I know some people mention it that they liked it so I'm just gonna keep going with it so over here I'm gonna add a couple of the the city park things like I'm gonna add this trampoline whoa that's that's a lot bigger than I thought okay not, maybe not the trampoline park and but we'll add that we'll add that later but we'll add a couple couple gazebos just where people can hang out and get out of the sun so this is like a nice little picnic area if I've ever seen one it it's and they definitely do have these in zoos um, at least the Buffalo Zoo they do have like a picnic area where you can sit under tents 
and whatnot. So we will worry about the other stuff in a little bit. But we do have this little gazebo area, picnic table area. It looks nice. For Now let's actually start adding things zoo-wise. Let's start adding exhibits. So I do want to add the, the best attraction ever. Water is required. Wow. Okay, there it goes. I was going to say, I was going to be a little upset if that did not go through, ladies and gentlemen. I added all that poopy water just so I can build this thing. All right, so let's, let's add this. There we go. So you are able to get to the sea lion's place now. Um... What, what is it actually called? I think it's the Sea Lions Exhibits. That is what I just added on the water. Okay, Sea Life Enclosure. Um, enclose, uh, an enclosure and facility designed to, to house exotic fish and aquarium mammals. So that is pretty cool. I know it's in shitty water, but there's nothing I can do about it, guys. I can't add water. I'm on a council playing council gaming, so I'm sorry. Sorry in advance. Okay, so let's go back and start from the very beginning. So the first one is is the moose and the reindeer. So you know, let's let's add the moose kind of closer to the entrance. The meese. No, I know that is not proper English. We're gonna add the moose over here, and we are going to go to the road and connect it up. And we'll connect it up over there. Now, can we fit one of those things I was trying to add before? The trampoline park, or is it too big? Okay, let's add a cool trampoline park over here. Awesome. That I, This is actually working really well. You know what, guys? I'm actually glad I'm detailing. I am detailing this park. So let's go over here, add a few more of these squares. There's that, and we'll add some more park benches over here. There we go. There we go, and that's perfect. So we have a. W so let me see. Do we? Ha where are? Oh, and I, I have to play. Let's see. Are the are are they gonna pop up? The moose and rain. Ah, yeah, they were. There we go. We have reindeer. There's Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, and there are the moose. From Canada, and freshly imported from Canada, or I guess the northern part of the United States. So we have moose and reindeer, so that is excellent. And you can see Rudolph the red nosed reindeer, he's the one, or she, I don't know, is Rudolph a guy or girl? Anyways, we can see them in the enclosure. All right, so the next thing we want to do is keep building up. So, what is the next thing we can build? Ladies and gentlemen, what can we build? Now the next thing we have is a bird enclosure. All right, let's put the let's put that up here. I kind of want to put that on the water, so let's rotate it, kind of right there, and we'll connect it up to our little roundabout, our wannabe roundabout, and that should be connected just fine. Let's just make sure it's connected. There we go, and it is connected, so that worked out really well. So we have our bird enclosure. It's right on the water of our mini... <laughs> this is our Niagara Falls of crap. Anyways, um, we'll keep going. I, I just want to keep going and move past that whole thing. Now, we have the antelope enclosure. Now, this is not a very big enclosure. Now, since we do need to get people to this part of the park. I think I am going to build this over here. How can I do this? So you can rotate the building using the D-pad on your Xbox One controller. I'm assuming it's the same thing on PS4. Did I just destroy the fence? No, I did not destroy the fence. Okay, so that is perfect. We have our antelope. Then the next thing is, is we have a bison enclosure. So this is a pretty big pretty big enclosure. I'm going to kind of move it over here. Kind of over here. And remember, now when you're building this, you you do have to connect it with the paths. So we have that right there. Now that you'll I'm going to show you exactly the paths and I'm going over 
to the path. Where are our paths? I know I probably bypassed them like 5,000 times. Okay. All right. I'm losing my mind. Oh, there it is. I move, I've moved by, by the paths like twice. So see the very ends. So see these circular things? They're called nodes. And, you, and for City Skylines Park Life DLCs, you have to connect the nodes. You can't, like, for example, see how they're, like, you, it, it won't let you connect, like, you're, like, you're building roads. So I'm just giving you that heads up. So um, let's, oh, and it did destroy some of our path. So let's add a couple more restaurants and stuff like that over here. Um, I'm going to use the city. Use the city. Or the the parks this the city parks restrooms and stuff like that so I just added I just added an info booth a restroom and then the one over here is a park cafe so we're gonna let's add that right there so that, that works out really well now I do need a seating area so I am I am going back to our lovely lovely squares and where should we put it? Do we? I don't. I think we want it away from the buffalo. I don't think you want to smell the buffaloes while you're trying to eat your dinner or your lunch or your. Well, I guess breakfast too. I don't know our park hours, so it can be any either or. So there is that. And now let's add a couple tables. And I am going to add trees and other stuff to that to this, so don't worry. And let's see what other what other cool things can we add? Nope, that's that's a lion enclosure. I'm just seeing All right, I guess I, I don't want to add another zoo plaza. Let's add Let's add the chess area. Also over over here. I know that seems silly, but it's a sit-down area and no Let's put the chest area. Nope, I don't want to get that in the way. Put the chest area chest area over here. So this way, it just kind of continues. More people have things to do. And, um, you know, just here at the zoo, other than exhibits. I know a, a zoo, you're mainly there for the exhibits. So calm, calm down. I know, I know, I know. And we're going to keep adding more exhibits as we go so we just added the bison now the next one is the insect so how big is this insect building you know this could be a good spot for it or you can kind of branch out over here no the, there's going to be bigger there's going to be much bigger exhibits coming up so i'm not going to mess with that can we add it right here because we do want people to actually get to this part of the park what I mean by that is we need them to get to our sea life exhibit, which zero people have made it to. But we'll we'll get we'll we'll figure it out. I'm not too worried. They'll be okay. I might actually build a path, go straight across like a bridge, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to ruin this this view. <laughs> oh my god, that's ugly. That is an ugly view. Anyways, let's keep going and keep building up. Now, um, the next thing we're building is the flamingo enclosure. Flamingo. Where can we put the flamingos? We'll put the flamingos in this general area, which will be really good. And I do need to connect the path. I know. How long is it going to take Sports Monkey to connect the path? Okay, it only took him a couple seconds this time. Last time it took him eight hours to do it. Anyways, now, since we have a little area over here, I have an idea. So since we have more water, we are going to fully utilize this water. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple piers over here from the city. From the city. Okay, it's officially called a city park. From the city park, which I knew that answer. I just completely blanked on it. Just to be honest with you guys, completely blanked. But um, the city park, there you go. And see how, okay, so remember I was saying you can't, the nodes need to line up. Look at how I'm going from this node to the middle. Like, usually when you're building roads, you can do that, but not with, not with the City Park Life DLC. So let's add a couple more restaurant areas. 
Well, that's some more bathrooms and whatnot over here. Um, I'm, I am not being lazy. I am not. I'm just not going to add any places to sit down because, um, well, space is kind of limited over here. So I did put those all together. Now let's see what we can do. I, I kind of want to hurry this up. I know I'm at the 22 minute mark, but let, we're almost done. Flamingo enclosure, the elephant enclosure. Okay, I definitely want the elephants over here because obviously we have the space, but yeah, this will work out really well if I can connect it without deleting any lines. So that's really good. I like that there. They This is in a main attraction area of our zoo, or like it's kind of like a main, main, like it's on, it's basically off the main roads, so our zoo can, it, um, you know, it, it's pretty, it'll be pretty easy to find, basically. It's uh, in a central location. So I just also added the drafts. Now the drafts do need, they do need the roads connected. So I'm going to connect the road over here and up here. Now I am going to place something in the middle over here. I feel like we can take advantage of of this and let's add like a plaza over here and then we're gonna add I'm actually gonna use the flooring if that's the correct term flooring from or can I add this no I'm going to add the tiles not flooring the tiles from this DLC if I can find it there you go Add a couple of these. There's that. Now we are going to add a couple benches and whatnot over here. There's that. Perfect. Now I do want to add a couple of those. Not a couple of those shops. Um, not the shops. The these. I do want to add like another food court area. Get your soda pop, get your ice cream. You know why you your kids want to see the drafts? Because you can get ice cream and pop. Amen to that. And then I'll add a sand sandbox area over here. And then there is a cannon. So I don't understand why there's a cannon in a city park. But we're going to just put that for ambiance. Look at that beautiful thing. And you know what? I have an idea. And we're going to add a, a couple couple things this is from the amusement park some of these little buggy rides where you put it put in a quarter and you go for a little bit of a ride back and forth and it rocks so we added that so that should be pretty perfect now let's keep going so i you know i i do like keeping my episodes um you know around 20 minutes but this one's going a little bit longer hey i am adding details so you guys cannot be mad at me so now we we have the monkey palace the rhino enclosure and wait oh rhino enclosure then the line so monkey palace we can fit that right here that would be perfect without killing any rocks oh and what did i kill i killed the freaking path it showed all green okay if we can have a little instant replay it showed that it was all green so i don't understand why the monkey enclosure just decided to do that anyway so now we have the monkey enclosure and now the last thing we need well we do have the elephant enclosure we the last two are the rhino enclosure and then the lions so let's kind of put th those over here those two enclosures so um we'll put that there and we'll put now where's the Where's the road for the lines? I'm not really sure, so I'm just going to place it, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so the... Okay, now that actually works really well. So here's the line enclosures, and we're going to actually add the path so we can connect it there. But we're also going to put the path there, and then I do want to connect over here to there. And now we're going to add a couple things to... Whoa. Skyscraper. Skyscraper. We're going to add a couple things before we just wrap it up. 
What little things can we build over here? Okay, we don't want camping. We don't want any of that. Okay. Yeah, let's not do that. Okay, let's not. Okay. We're going to go back to our city park system, and we're going to add a jungle gym. A couple jungle gyms. And then we're going to add just another little sit-down area over here. So we kind of have our little park area over there. I know we're building a park, but it's another park area, so, you know, get used to it. There's that. Now, I do believe I'm going to get rid of some of these trees. Yeah, let's have, let's build concrete right on top, right around the trees. That makes perfect sense. Anybody else in the comment section agree with that? There's that. Add a couple of these. There you go. Now, I do want to add... What is this on? Before I, I was hoping it was a bathroom, but we'll put the cafe there. We'll put... I do want a bathroom there, and then we'll put the souvenir stall there. Try to keep everything pretty central. I mean, you are walking all the way over here, so you might as, you know, <laughs> you might as well. You're walking pretty far to see these lions, so you might as well walk by some souvenir stalls and stuff like that. So we have that, so now I'm just going to go and add in some details to our park. So since we already do have some rock formations around here, now, granted... Wait, do we not have... Do we have a water shortage? No. Oh, the, the pipes just don't go over here. Okay, that makes sense. That makes more sense. Okay, so granite, we do have a lot of rocks, so I am going to add a couple giant boulders. Like, I kind of did... I kind of did that already. So, see, so you could see those giant boulders. So, I'm going to add a couple more rock formations around this area. There you go. And I'm trying to just kind of hide our toxic waste that we're creating. <laughs> so our Sims can't really see it. I know I know that doesn't look the greatest, but you know what? I this hey, this counts as me detailing, ladies and gentlemen. This counts as me detailing. Now, what I also want to do is I want to put trees on the outside of the like on the outskirts of the of you know like the border where the fence is because we need like a sound buffer you know if you're ever in a park or anything like that like there like we don't want you know like you don't need to hear you know what they made a tool for this nope and it does not work as well as individually placing them so I just want to put a bunch of trees over here and kind of enclose it. And, you know, like when you're at a zoo, you don't, you know, you don't want to hear the car, the noise from the car. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is the detailed park um, that actually I kind of really like the wind turbine there. That kind of actually is really freaking cool. I really do like that. So I did add a bunch of trees. Um, you already saw some of the detailing with the trampoline and the chess match. And then we do have this little picnic area. I really do like that. I did add these rock formations and more boulders around here. So we kind of hide. <laughs> we kind of hide our sins from um, cheating and creating this poopy water. But, um, you know, I just wanted to see, show you guys the full details of you know, the park, um, you do know when you are in an amusement park or the zoo, um, you know, there are a lot of trees, there are a lot of picnic areas, there are a lot of plazas and stuff like that. So I just want to show you guys what I did. And, um, just one last thing. Also, when you're creating a zoo, um, don't forget to go to your policies and then edit, uh, the animal ethics, which will boost your zoo buildings by 20%. And keep your the extra care and activities to keep them happy and entertained, so the zoo animals will receive loving. Advertising to draw 20% more visitors than the main park. The main park is also what we use with our amusement park, 
So just also remember um, that is um, that will bring in more visitors. So just showing you, um, 